Welcome back Archivers, my name is Kelly and this is Top 10 Archive. There seems to be a fad that's very prevalent in Japan by the name of chindoku, or the art of inventing almost useless things. From square watermelons to miniature closets made just for your socks, let's count down the top 10 oddest Japanese inventions. Number 10, Golf Bra. There truly are never enough convenient opportunities to practice your putt. At least that's what the inventor of the golf bra will have you believe. Once removed, this minimalistic strapless top converts into a putting green complete with two holes. You know, as a reminder of the female anatomy that once housed it. The skirt, thankfully, doubles as a useful be quiet flag for all your zeros as spectators. And if that wasn't enough, whenever you sink a putt, the built-in speaker will congratulate your accomplishment by proclaiming nice shot. I see this working well with the women that like to procrastinate and the men that don't notice naked ladies demographics. Number 9, Umbrella Tie. So we said this was a list of odd inventions, but not necessarily useless inventions. Now keeping that fully in mind, Japan's Umbrella Tie is an article of clothing that allows one to have both style and the convenience of not having your business suit get rained on. In the true spirit of Chindoku, however, there is one real problem we can foresee. What are you supposed to wear when you get to work? A stopping one umbrella tie? Or are you just supposed to carry around a spare tie in your briefcase? To be fair, this is probably more useful than half of the as seen on TV products in this country. Number 8, Back Scratchers T-Shirt. Itchy people rejoice! The next curious invention was made just for you! Gone are the days where you have to twist and wriggle about like a small child trying to reach your itchy target. Now you can acquire this glorious graph t-shirt equipped with a smaller, matching guide to swiftly and decidedly declare your itch zone like a game of bingo. I honestly can't think of a more effective way to get your itch on other than popping on a woolly sweater that's about three sizes too small. Number 7, Cupmen. Okay, we've all been there. Cooking that last pack of ramen you found stashed deep in your cupboard, you're ready to eat, but how will you know when it's done? How long is three minutes anyway? Enter the cup men. These small silicone men are placed on the top of a container of ramen to keep it closed as it builds steam, while also turning white as the heat rises. Don't live in Japan? Well, no worries. All the excitement of watching water boil with three reusable color-changing figurines can still be yours for around $50. Number six, square watermelons. Who can eat watermelons? Juicy, sweet, overall fun to eat? The problem, of course, is that pesky, round, hard-to-store shape they've got going on. Well, Japan has heard your pleas, and they're happy to give you square watermelons. Same sweet watermelon benefits, none of those lame watermelon shapes. That's right, no more having to place things around your watermelon, now you can set things on your watermelon, with no worries of the watermelon rolling off the shelf. Number 5, Concept Bra. As if the pressure to get married isn't enough by itself, Japan inventors have decided to up the ante. The concept bra features a red LED self-set timer that doesn't stop until a ring is used to unlock it. After locking the presumed explosive to their body, the wearer takes to the streets to hunt for a victim, I mean suitor. And as if the red flashing lights aren't sending enough of a sign, the concept bra also features a handkerchief inscribed with the wearer's phone number. eHarmony, take note! Number 4, The Sock Closet. If having it all is the American dream, then the Japanese have definitely beat us to it with this invention. Why not anthropomorphize your sock collection and give them proper, dignified housing with the wonderful sock closet? At the very least, you'll never have to hunt for a match ever again. The best part of this actually is the tagline. You ready for it? The sock closet for elite feet. Number three, the butter grater. To be honest with you guys, when we first heard of this thing called the butter grater, well, we thought for sure it was a product of one notorious celebrity chef out of Savannah, Georgia. Don't get us wrong, we love butter and we do see the possible benefits. You no longer have to heat your hard butter to make it easier to spread. Okay, that's all I got at the moment, but it's not the most useless item on our list. It's just, like all great Chindugu products, a little unnecessary. Number two, paper to toilet paper. In a chindogu styled attempt of going green, a Japanese company has created the first ever paper to toilet paper conversion machine called, wait for it, the White Goat. <laughs> the goat uses about 40 sheets of your standard printer paper with a little bit of water to produce for you one roll of toilet paper in a leisurely 30 minutes. I am sure there's a poop joke in here somewhere, so humor me with those in the comments below. Number one, the boyfriend girlfriend companion pillows. Finally, chronic loneliness has a cure thanks to the boyfriend and girlfriend companion pillows. They typically come in one of two styles, a kneeling pair of women's legs equipped with a matching mini skirt, or a pillow with an arm attached to it to replicate spooning with someone. 
It may feel somewhat desperate, but hey, maybe the inventors are onto something here. After all, it's probably a lot cheaper than having to maintain an actual relationship. Alright, that's it for our list. What's your favorite Shindogu invention? Do you have an idea for a future top 10 video or a hilarious pun involving square watermelons? Let us know in the comments down below. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and our website top10archive.net. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and share it mm, about a hundred times. Oh, by the way, we'd also like you to subscribe.